Hi there, those of you who have been following my posts know that I have been asking Bitwig about uh, alias clips, hybrid comping and chord tracks. Uh, in the recent days I have been trying to create some kind of chord track functionality in Bitwig, uh, mainly using uh, the new node grid, uh, but I pretty much failed miserably. Uh, because it doesn't provide good tracking of uh, MIDI channel from which the notes uh, came in. So I uh, figured I will do it uh, using regular devices and actually I believe this method would also work in between 3.0 or maybe 3. something when the uh, channel filters were implemented. Anyway, what are chord tracks? So I will show you uh, what is it, for example, in Cubase. It's a dedicated track where you put the chord symbols and it makes uh, the MIDI in the other tracks follow those symbols. It's very similar in Studio One where you have a circle of fifths or something similar to that. It's a kind of a proximity guide which chords sound good together. And you also put them on the top and everything in the MIDI below follows uh, that pattern. So it's being transposed and forced into a uh, selected chord. So how would we do that in Bitwig? I have a simple project here. This is a, let's say, four bar loop, but, but it's basically a one bar pattern. And it is playing in C major. Uh, all the notes play on the white uh, keys and the root note is C. Yeah, it's, it's nice, uh, but you know, if that was uh, the, the core of the track for three to five minutes, it would be pretty boring. So what I came up with, and uh, I will maybe make it smaller so we could see more on screen. Uh, so what I came up with is a core track. Uh, for now there is nothing here, but because this is a bit weak, we also have a clip launcher. In this clip launcher I have uh, uh, clips that select the root note of the chord, select the type of chord, those are the same chords that we have in a uh, key filter device. Uh, we have ability to uh, transpose uh, two octaves up or two octaves, two octaves down or two octaves up. And we have also ability to transpose the MIDI by semitones uh, without changing the uh, without changing the uh, key and scale. So let's see how that works. Let's select those clips. So that, that works pretty great, obviously, uh, because it's between we can, uh, and we should actually uh, save that to the arrangement, so let's do it again. So now we have those chords uh, on our main track. Yeah, C, D, C sharp, major, Lydian, Phrygian. Uh, yeah, so, so it looks really nice. 
uh, but it isn't without its problems. So first of all, uh, this works uh, by transposing and forcing the notes in the clip uh, into a scale using the key filter. Uh, so the assumption is the source material is in C major. Uh, so you have to write something in C major and then use it to, uh, for it to work properly. Obviously you can do something in, let's say, F Phrygian, uh, so some kind of clip, and then tr transpose it back to C Phrygian and start from, uh, let's say, instead of starting from C major, start from C Phrygian and that should work as well. Uh, but if you started with F Phrygian, for example, and kept this at C, then it would be F Phrygian. But if you change that to F Phrygian here, it would transpose the MIDI 5 semitones up. So it wouldn't be F, but it would be uh, uh, A or B, some, some, something like that. Um, so that's one problem. The other is that uh, sometimes if you don't have any clips here, I don't know if I could replicate that right now. Let's see. Oh, that, that works. Uh, sometimes if Bitwig doesn't know wh what notes are there, it assumes uh, it's the, the lowest no note possible. Uh, so it transposes everything very low. So to, to the point it's really not, uh, not, not hearable. Uh, but you know, it is not a native functionality. If Bitwig uh, chose to implement that some sometime in the future, hopefully uh, they could easily, you know, avoid those two problems. But even now, I think it works pretty pretty well, and it's a lot of fun. You know, you can try to experiment uh, with this. Uh, maybe just a quick comment how it works. So each of the clips here, maybe let's hide that for a second. Uh, each of the clips here has some kind of note around C3. C3 is a, let's say, home base for uh, the pitch in Bitwig, so it's a value of zero. Uh, so for example, if I pick here C note, it's basically no transposition. In this uh, clip I have C sharp, uh, D, D sharp and so on. So those transpose the key filter by number of semitones that uh, is equal to the distance between C3 and the note in the clip. Those clips, the logic is the same. So C3 is zero, so no, no transposition from minor scale, uh, from major scale. Then we go to the minor, which is one uh, semitone up, and so on. Uh, octave, again the same kind of idea, C3, C2 for uh, octave down, and, and so on. And here we have, uh, again, the same idea. All of those uh, notes are sent to different MIDI channels, so 13, 14, 15, and 16. And those uh, those notes are sent uh, to the chord track to the master of the group, and then at the level of uh, instrument tracks, 
I have this chain uh, which picks up the notes from the chord track and puts them through a uh, note effects layer. So I'm uh, letting through all the notes from different channels than 13, 14, 15, and 16. So if you have some uh, your your own clips in those uh, MIDI channels, then it should play fine. And then for 13, 13 channel, which is the key of the root 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 key of the of the scale, uh, I'm translating that using the DC offset into the value of 11 steps and I'm reading that in uh, audio uh, audio rate modulator sorry this one key uh, and I'm modulating within with with that uh, the uh, root of the key filter as well as the mode shift so for example if I have a clip in C major and I will change it here to D this will uh, change the setup here of the key filter to D won't change the major so it will be D major and it will uh, increase this to ha two steps just because it has to move the, the clip two steps higher the same logic is for scale uh, so scale, yes, it only takes the info from 14th channel. It maps it maps it to eight steps this time because we have only eight steps up from from let's say the base major scale, uh, and it simply moves uh, this. Then we have uh, octave. Here we only have uh, we we have 24 steps because uh, we want to. Uh, move semis in note transposer so we need 24 steps 12 for each octave uh, and the last one uh, sorry and the last one is transpose again 11 steps the same like with the key but I'm here using the note transpose so this only transposes the key without touching the root note of the scale this is a pretty simple setup. I think it should work in three point something uh, when those devices was were introduced. Everything else, I believe, is 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 pretty old already. So it's it's kind of simple. I, I will attach the project to this uh, video so you could uh, so you can try it for yourself. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.